You know, when I accepted this job nearly seven years ago, I dreamed of this moment. A morning where I can come downtown, walk through these glass doors, and welcome residents to what I know you will agree is a shining center of community learning in the heart of our great city. Now, after many years of hard work and support from elected officials, civic and business leaders, and residents from all eight wards, this next generation library is finally ready to serve. I'm Richard Reyes Gavilan, Executive Director of the DC Public Library. It is my great pleasure to welcome you back to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Library. We're in the new grand reading room on the third floor of the new building. I invite you to join me on this 360 degree tour of the modernization and explore some of the new services that we'll be offering. Take a look at this space and you'll see why I think it is so magical. It's not just a place to grab a book and leave. It's a place where you'll wanna stay and work and dream in just breathtaking surroundings. Among hundreds of thousands of books, you'll understand why this library truly is a palace for the people. So let's begin. If you visited the MLK Library before, you'll notice the difference right away. The shelving is lower. The rooms are bigger and brighter. Seating options abound, both within the spaces and along the perimeter of the glass, providing visitors myriad options for using the library however they feel most comfortable. Artist Zenobia Bailey, whose work invites viewers to contemplate the heavens in new and unexpected ways, was commissioned to create the work. Look closely and you'll see the pattern in the deep blue sky is made from a photograph of protesters at the 1963 March on Washington. Community input into the design was vital and one demand was clear. Create a reading room that is truly grand. We accomplished this by removing a 2,000 square foot section between the third and fourth floors creating a double height space to accommodate this stunning work of art that will delight readers for decades to come. Every visitor who walks through our doors enters the historic Great Hall, the nucleus around which the building's dozens of simultaneous activities go around. It's here where visitors will pick up a book that's been put on hold, where they will gather to meet friends or start their journey of learning throughout the building's six floors. The Great Hall has been restored to reflect its 1972 design with check-in, check-out desks to the left and right of the main entrance in their original locations. As you enter, you'll find several references to the building's namesake. Our signature piece, this 56-foot-long mural by Don Miller, commissioned in 1984 in celebration of what was then the new Martin Luther King Jr. National Holiday. Look closely and you'll see the familiar faces, buildings, and events that helped define Dr. King's life. As part of our modernization, the mural was carefully restored to its original brilliance. West of the Great Hall, you'll find our digital commons, where visitors can access our high-speed internet computers or reserve any of six private meeting spaces. Several of the building's original Barcelona chairs designed by building architect Mies van der Rohe and his longtime artistic collaborator, Lily Reich, welcome visitors to the Commons. East of the Great Hall, visitors will find bestsellers and other new books. Soon readers can grab new fiction and nonfiction and enjoy our new cafe where we will serve beverages, sandwiches, and other light fare. Our outdoor patio will serve as a meeting place for the lunch hour crowd and will host artists, exhibitions, and receptions. The Great Hall will once again return to hosting town halls, celebrity appearances, and large author talks. But today, it's where we will begin our exploration of the dynamic new spaces on six fully renovated stories. Poet Maya Angelou reminds us that every journey begins with a single step, and it's that journey from the Great Hall to the reading and research spaces throughout the building that is the most dramatic highlight of the modernization. The feelings of optimism and possibility as you ascend these stairs can't help but inspire. Gone are the dark and dull staircases of the past. Here, each floor will provide an experience like no other. 
The new children's room invites young readers the chance to play, to laugh, and to develop a love of reading. There are separate and distinct areas for our youngest residents of all stages of childhood. The Children's Storytime Theater is a highlight of the colorful new space, offering exciting views down the 9th and G Street Northwest corridors. The new Alma Thomas Teen Room will serve as a destination for middle and high schoolers who can congregate, use private study rooms, and enjoy a space designed specifically for their needs. The 10,000 square foot space is filled with age appropriate books, lounge seating, and even a gaming area. The room is dedicated to renowned painter and educator Alma Thomas. Her original art, thanks to a recent donation of 13 pieces, will grace the space and her life will inspire programming created for students throughout the city. The late artist was the first ever graduate of Howard University's Fine Arts Program, and in 2015, she became the first African-American woman to have her work added to the White House Permanent Collection. Here in the dramatic 291-seat auditorium, guests can expect an array of programming, including musical performances, panel discussions, author talks, and special screenings. The auditorium and adjacent conference center on the library's fourth floor will serve as DC's premier destination for civic engagement. And our new event space will ensure the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Library becomes a must-attend location for corporate, nonprofit, public, and private events. I'm particularly excited by the expanded role our creative labs will play in the new library. A purpose-built space for artists, innovators, builders, and entrepreneurs, the labs define the future of library services like no other space in the building. There are a dizzying variety of activities supported here on the building's A-level. Visitors can record and mix music, create podcasts, digitize and preserve their old home movies and photographs, create multimedia projects, borrow tools from our new tool library, book a dance studio, and experiment with emerging technologies that include laser cutters and 3D printers. Thank you for joining us on our tour of the new Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Library. Please follow us on social media, on the new DCPL app, or simply at dclibrary.org for everything that's going on at the library.